I want to talk to you directly about the issue of housing affordability in the Lower Mainland in British Columbia because it's time for bold action. We've been working on solutions for the past several months and in the coming days of weeks we are going to lay out a plan that will help us address housing affordability in British Columbia. It's impacting families and it's impacting the livability of our region. It's time for a determined effort, one that includes all levels of government, to make sure that we preserve the dream of owning a home and keeping it in the reach of the middle class. These are the principles that will guide us in the decisions that we make to address the housing affordability problem in the Lower Mainland. First, all levels of government must work together to make sure there is enough supply, enough units in the market to make sure that we meet the demand that's out there. Second, we need to be smart about transit investments, make sure that we are linking communities together, keeping them livable and making it possible and easier for people to get around. Third, we have to support first-time home buyers in getting into the market, making it a little bit easier for someone who hasn't yet built up any equity in the housing market to find their way in. We have to protect consumers as well from shady practices. In a fast-rising housing market, sometimes greed takes over. We want to make sure the consumers are protected. And we have to make sure that it's not just about home ownership, that people who are in a position to rent and want to find a home can find one. And that means increasing the number of rental units that are available, especially in Vancouver, but all over the Lower Mainland. And most of all, it's all about making sure that the dream of home ownership, the dream of living in a world-class city like Vancouver and the other cities uh, that surround it in the Lower Mainland, that that dream remains in the reach of the middle class.